My name is John Carney, and I lead the global telecom and media vertical for Salesforce. Of course, media and entertainment is a space that is also being dramatically impact, uh, impacted by COVID. Consumer usage of online streaming and online content is going through the roof. Uh, gaming's up 75%, streaming's up 61%, an already high number. But interestingly enough, primetime pay TV is still flat or actually down. On-demand content, new films that are being uh, had been planned to roll out are being released same day uh, th as theatrical release. So on streaming, you're seeing that from Disney, you're seeing that from Netflix. Um, they're removing the delays, the traditional delays between buy and rents. Uh, studios are basically shut down for production. They can't do make new movies. Uh, they can't do new production. And movie theaters are closed. The social platforms are booming. Uh, they're really king right now. Consumption is way up, and you're seeing new social uh, communities pop up or become stronger. TikTok is huge. Twitch is huge. This new one, uh, that was new to me at least, House Party has really taken off over the last couple weeks. They're doing live events uh, through YouTube and drive towards uh, digital subscriptions. Traditional advertising has largely stopped. Brands don't want to have an adjacency with their ad against a COVID story. You're seeing the live events go away, live sports, which is one of the main places that people were traditionally advertising on television. You're seeing movement to digital. Uh, from a digital customer service perspective, like the communications industry, uh, companies that already have digital footprints and digital support, like Hulu, for example, are dealing with this fairly well. Others that have not made that shift are really struggling to uh, have a great medium to communicate with their customers and their employees. NBC Universal are releasing their, their new films the same day as their theatrical release. Companies like Netflix are providing uh, access to things like Netflix Party. Uh, House Party, uh, as I mentioned earlier, is, is going crazy. Zoom is going through the roof. Twitch is growing dramatically. Uh, and you're going to see, I think, a massive movement of advertising dollars towards uh, platforms like Twitch. Um, newspapers, if they've got a subscription paywall, I think they're in, in pretty good shape. If they're still trying to uh, avoid uh, subscription paywalls and subscription-based models, I think they're going to struggle because advertising revenues, I think, are going to dry up and it's going to be tough for them to come back. So Salesforce has a number of uh, areas where we can help. So number one is deep social listening. Uh, you need to have tools to understand how your brand is being perceived on the social networks. Number two is digital customer service and e-commerce. I mean, uh, we, we're going to keep saying this. You've got to have a digital customer engagement layer. You've got to have a, a digital stack to be able to provide. Number three is with digital marketing and ad sales. As I mentioned earlier, traditional ad sales are really drying up. I do think uh, post-COVID, they're going to come rushing back in. We are going to get live sports again. It's not going away. We are going to get live events again. So your ability to be positioned to be able to resell that ad inventory, I think is going to be really important. And of course, being able to do digital marketing at scale is really important as well, where most consumers are, continue, are going to continue to be uh, spending a lot of time. And last thing is great analytics, really understanding what's happening with your customers through their entire customer engagement lifecycle. Some of the partners are uh, responding to COVID on their own. Uh, AWS is providing uh, a, a Amazon Connect free of charge for some period of time so that you can get your call center connected remotely. Uh, Accenture has a whole uh, resource library on best practices through crisis management, change management, employee engagement, et cetera, uh, and what to do next uh, through COVID. Deloitte has a similar uh, type of capability, providing uh, leadership best practice. Uh, they also have resources, particularly in the media and entertainment space, to help companies transition into a full digital stack uh, as appropriate to be able to convert to digital marketing and e-commerce and to really help companies quickly uh, respond to uh, altering their business practice so that they've got business continuity, if nothing else, to get them through something like this in the future. So uh, partners are a key part of uh, our ability to help customers and employees uh, do that at scale.